Bobby, how would you how would you sum up your season this year? I think I took a lot of um, strides, a lot of growth. You know, I think I opened a lot of people's eyes to things they probably thought I couldn't do for some reason and things like that. You know. What, are the, what was the difference of the last month? Did, did you, could you feel yourself playing better? Obviously, the numbers were up. Uh, you know. What kind of things maybe like in the last month? Uh, I mean, like I said, you know, I just think opportunity, you know, getting a chance to do things. But weren't you doing things better maybe than you were doing before? Did you feel that or you just improvement on certain things? Or? No, I just think it was more so, um, you know, opportunity and capitalizing, you know, started getting to a little bit of a zone. I think Sam was comfortable, I was comfortable, you know, things were clicking. What do you think? The offense is a whole Robbie. Obviously, Sam misses three games. Mm -hmm. Took you guys a little while to find a rhythm. You know, how did you feel the offense played as a whole this year? Well, I think that we, um, you know, obviously weren't where we wanted to be at at points of the season. You know, losing our quarterback. You know, that's that's crucial. You know, a lot of things going on, players in and out on the O line. So you know, it's hard like that. You know. Robbie, would you like to to sign before free agency? Or would you like to hit free agency and see what your what other teams are offering you? Uh, I think, you know, I don't really think that that's logical to sign before, like, at this point, you know, like, from a business perspective, it's like, why wouldn't I, you know, go out there and see what my value truly could be, you know, and do things in the correct business matter. So, you know, that wouldn't really be logical. You know, typically guys sign before they hit free agency, you know, they get locked up during the season because sometimes different reasons and, you know, present they prevent themselves from, typical injury, you know, I have nothing to risk at this point, so as you know, logically, that wouldn't really make sense. What's your ideal scenario for you? What, what, would, you, what, your, what would your ideal scenario for you be? The best scenario. But I mean, would your ideal scenario be getting the money you want and being here, or, you know, or being elsewhere? Would you rather be I here? I mean, I think the goal is, in, in, in the business perspective, is to, you know, get the most money in the best situation. Mm -hmm. But I mean, how much does this being here, the place of you would weigh into that, or does it at all? I mean, yeah, it does, but you know, like I said, you know, the goal is to get the best amount of money, the most amount of money, what I'm, what I'm worth, my potential, and be in the best situation. How, how exciting is this for you, Robbie? I mean, nah, it's you make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting, you know. It's very exciting, you know, coming in undrafted, you know, and, you know, the table, the, you know, tables turn, you know, and, right kind of like feel like the words in my hands in, in a sense, you know, so I'm excited. What did you see out of Sam from last year to this year? You know, what kind of improvements did you see out of Sam? Well, I think Sam took a lot of strides, you know, a lot more comfortable, obviously, you know, smarter, you know, he's aged a little bit, you know, as a quarterback in the league, a lot more experience, you know, but I think that he's taking a lot of strides. He did, had a pretty good season, like when things got rolling in the right direction. How did you think Adam used you this year? There was a lot of talk before the season. He was yeah. more things with you. Do you think he did that? Yeah, I think he started to as the year went on. You know, I think earlier in the year, you know, with Sam going down and, you know, like I said, O-line issues and people getting hurt, things like that, you know, it was harder for him, you know. But I think as things got how they were needed to be, he was able to use me in the ways that he hoped to. Robbie, uh, Matt rules a name going mm -hmm. around co coaching circles right now, maybe the Giants. Yeah. If you played for him at Temple, you know, you just, for people that don't know him very well, you know, what kind of coach is he? Man, he's a great coach, you know. I text him um not too long ago, and I was just like, text, text him, you know, thanking him, because there was a lot of things that he did and put me through when I was in college, I used to get mad about, you know, but now it's like I really understand why he was doing those things, because he didn't want me to just rely on the fact that I was talented. He wanted to teach me how to, he taught me work ethic, like, I always said, like, when I got here and practiced, I was like, damn, this is really, like, kind of easy compared to, like, what he had us doing there, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he's a great person, you know what I'm saying? More importantly, like, he truly, like, he fought to get me back in the to Temple. Right. I was kicked out, you know, and he really fought. He got them to, like, change the rule of the school and everything. Like, it really wasn't for him to, like, get me the opportunity. I probably wouldn't have even got my foot into the door into the NFL. Like, I was about to go to a Division two school, but he fought and believed in me and put his name in put himself on the line to make me, you know, get that second chance and get right. And there was a lot of times we didn't see eye to eye about a lot of things because when I was young, I was a little stubborn and things like that. But he always had my best interest at heart, you know. So he's a hell of a coach. He's a great man, too. Where do you think he ends up? 
Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think, though, whoever gets him, though, he's going to do a good job. Would you be interested in playing for him again? Um, you know, that mean honestly, that wouldn't be a bad option, you know, knowing him as a coach. But, you know, it'll work itself out.